With Suzuki set to leave MotoGP at the end of this year, and Dorna confirming that they don't want a private satellite team to take its place, the options are very limited when it comes to alternatives. There have been some suggestions that BMW might be the ideal candidate to take Suzuki's place. They have now responded as quoted by Motor Passion Moto. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, BMW responds to rumours of MotoGP entry. <laughs> These rumours gained traction when Dorna CEO Camelo Espeleta stated the following, BMW has always impressed us with its strengths and its passion. I can't give names, but it is possible that a big brand will enter the world championship in the next few years. Marcus Schramm, the CEO of BMW Motorrad, responded to the rumours by saying, At BMW, we are always considering MotoGP, but it depends on who makes the final decision. Karl Heinz Karbfell and Herbert Dies wanted to join, as did Hendrik von Kuhnheim. He signed off by revealing the obstacle to their entry into MotoGP, but they were stopped by the board of directors of BMW, that is, by the managers of the car division. Fast feed. KTM's Miguel Oliveira joked that he will be on the MotoGP grid with Shark and Ixon in 2023. Pramax Jorge Martin felt that his future was almost completely clear, but it seems that now I have to figure out where I can be next year. Pramac is the best team I've been on and I'm really happy to be here, but if I'm not on a factory Ducati bike, I'll look at a factory bike elsewhere. For RNF Yamaha's Andrea De Vizioso, it is very clear what will happen in Germany. But people don't have a full picture of what's happening and why it's happening. It's not a question of motivation and age. Of course, everything exerts its influence, but almost everything comes from the characteristics of the bike. Pitt Byra KTM Sporting Director stated that Raul Fernandez and Remy Gardner don't seem to be heading in the right direction. Both gave up. They had too high expectations and may have overestimated the Moto2 category. They thought that in MotoGP they will get a bike on which everything happens by itself. Dorna CEO Carmelo Espeleta reiterated that they will not increase the number of private teams in any way. We like a championship of 20 more than a 24. We will have a 24 if a new manufacturer is truly willing to commit seriously to the championship until the end of 2026. Should Andrea De Vizioso retire and make way for a younger talent? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.